Story time. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Time. I'm so happy that you are here. 만나서 너무나 반갑습니다. Welcome back to those of you who took the previous levels. 이전 단계를 마치고 새로운 레벨에 오신 여러분들을 환영합니다. And I'd like to welcome those of you who have just joined 초목달. 또한 새롭게 초목달에 오신 여러분들도 진심으로 환영합니다. I'm really looking forward to reading all of these new stories, aren't you? 저는 여러분들과 함께 새로운 이야기들을 나누려니 아주 기대가 많이 되는데요. 여러분들도 기대되시죠? Well then, let's do some brainstorming before we begin. Here we go! How the body works Muscles What do your muscles do in your body? Heart What does your heart do in your body? Lungs What do your lungs do in your body? Skin What does your skin do in your body? Today's story is about the human body. Boys and girls, you can name the human body parts, right? Let's name some of our body parts. The head, neck, trunk, arms and hands, legs and feet. Great job! Within the human body, we have important parts that control our body. Now, can you name some of the important parts that help us keep going? The brain, muscles, lungs, skin, and the heart. Let's find out what these different body parts do. What controls the human body? Now, let's think of a car. Cars have many parts that all move at the same time. Then, who controls the car? That's right, a driver controls the car. Boys and girls, did you know that the human body is a large, complicated machine just like a car? Just like a driver controls the car, there is a human body part that does the same job as the driver. What controls the human body? In other words, who is the driver of the human body? That's right, the brain is the driver of the human body. What does the brain do? It does many important tasks. It moves your eyes and tells your lungs when to breathe. Your brain keeps your body on the road. What is protecting your brain? Your skeleton provides support and protection for your body. It gives muscles a place to attach and protects parts like your heart, brain, and lungs. Your skull is a hard shell for your brain. However, boys and girls, don't go banging your head on things though. Your brain can become bruised. Muscles Now, let's move on to other body parts. Let's begin with muscles. What do you think your muscles do? Your muscles move your body. Remember that most of your muscles are controlled by your brain. But some of your muscles can move on their own. By the way, can't you sometimes feel things moving after you eat? 
your heart is a muscle too. Stay really quiet, and you might hear it beating. Heart. Next, let's talk about another body part. Can you hear your heart? Great. If you can't hear your heart, you are in big trouble. If your heart stops beating, then you will die. What does your heart do? Your heart pumps blood throughout your body. It sucks in blood and pushes back out. Thanks to your heart, blood moves from your lungs to the rest of your body. Lungs. Okay. Now, let's look at the lungs. What do your lungs do in your body? Your lungs transfer oxygen to your blood. Boys and girls, every cell in your body needs oxygen to keep working. The oxygen lets the cells make a special chemical that provides energy to your body. Without this chemical, you cannot survive. There is one more interesting fact about lungs. The muscle that controls the lungs only works to suck air in. When you breathe out, that muscle is relaxing. Solutions. Finally, what is the largest organ in your body? That's right, your skin is the largest organ in your body. What does your skin do? Your skin keeps your insides in and the outside out. It is sensitive to pressure, heat, and other causes. When your skin feels pain, it means that your body is in danger. It sends a signal to your brain, and your brain moves your body away from the danger. Sometimes, this happens before you even know you are in danger. This is called a reflex. We learned that there is a lot going on in your body every second of every day. Luckily, your brain handles most of it without you ever knowing. Your body is practically a car from the future. It can drive itself. What do you need to provide it? You just have to provide it with directions and off it goes. Okay, let's wrap up. What did we talk about today? Right, we talked about the human body. 맞아요, 우리는 human body. 인간의 신체에 대해서 이야기했어요. Now, you know how the body works, right? 이제 여러분은 우리의 신체가 어떻게 일하는지 알게 되었죠? 그렇죠? What controls the human body? 사람의 몸은 누가 조정한다고요? That's right. The brain does. 그렇지요. 뇌가 조정합니다. Just like a driver controls the car, the brain is the driver of the human body. 운전자가 자동차를 조정하듯 인간의 몸은 뇌가 운전자라고 할수 있겠네요. What do your muscles do in your body? 인간의 몸에서 근육은 어떤 일을 한다고요? Very good. Your muscles move your body. 잘하셨어요. 근육은 몸을 움직이게 해줘요. What does your heart do in your body? 그렇다면 심장은 어떤 일을 하나요? Right. Your heart pumps blood throughout your body. 그렇죠. 심장은 피가 온 몸을 통하게 하죠. What about lungs? What do your lungs do in your body? 폐는 어떻죠? 폐는 몸에서 어떤 일을 한다고요? Very good. Your lungs 
transfer oxygen to your blood. 잘하셨어요. 폐는 산소가 여러분의 피로 투입되도록 해줘요. Finally, what is the largest organ in your body? 마지막으로 여러분의 몸에서 가장 커다란 조직은 무엇이라고요? <웃음> That's right. Your skin is the largest organ in your body. 잘하셨네요. 바로 여러분의 피부가 몸에서 가장 커다란 조직이에요. Great job, boys and girls. See you next time. Bye. How the body works. The human body is like a car. Cars have many parts that all move at the same time. The parts are controlled by a driver who keeps the car on the road. In your body, the brain is like the driver of a car. It keeps your body on the road. Your skeleton provides support and protection for your body. Your muscles move your body. Most of them are controlled by your brain. But some can even move on their own. Your heart is also a muscle. It pumps blood throughout your body. If your heart stops beating, then you will die. Your lungs transfer oxygen to your blood. Every cell in your body needs oxygen to keep working. The largest organ in your body is the skin. It protects you from germs and injury. When your skin feels pain, it sends a signal to your brain, and your brain moves your body away from the danger. There is a lot going on in your body. It is practically a car from the future. You just have to provide it with directions, and off it goes. <laughs> Yo, boys and girls, what's up? Now, it's hip-hop singing time. We will rap to our non-fiction stories. But before we rap to today's story, let's review the lyrics together. What is the human body like? The human body is a complicated machine, like a car. What is controlling the human body? The brain is controlling the human body. The brain is the driver. What do your muscles do? Your muscles move your body. What about your lungs? <sighs> your lungs help you breathe. What is the largest organ in your body. Your skin is the largest organ in your body. It protects you from germs and injury. Your body is practically a car from the future. It can drive itself. Now, let's review some patterns. The first pattern we will look at is be controlling. You use this pattern to exercise dominating influence over. Now, let's practice. You can use it like this. My boss is controlling the project. She is controlling the relationship. The second pattern we will look at is protect A from B. This pattern is used to keep from being harmed or attacked. Ow! For example, you can use it like this. This will protect you from the thieves. The cover will protect your phone from damage. Can you make one? Great job, everyone. Now, let's rap together. Oh, yeah. Whoa. 
What is the human body like? The human body is a complicated machine like a car. What is controlling the human body? The brain is controlling the human body. The brain is the driver. The brain is the driver. What do your muscles do? Let's find out. Your muscles move your body. What about your lungs? Your lungs help you breathe. <sighs> breathe. What is the largest organ in your body? Your skin is the largest organ in your body. It protects you from germs and injury. Your body is practically a car from the future. It can drive itself. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the skill section. 여러분 반갑습니다. 이 skill section에서 여러분들과 다양한 독해 전략 스킬들을 함께 연습하려고 해요. 여러분 모두 이 연습을 통해서 독해력 향상에 커다란 도움이 될 것이라고 저는 확신해요. 오늘 우리가 함께 볼 스킬은 context clues예요. Context clues are hints that an author gives to help define a difficult word. 문맥실말이란 저자가 어려운 단어 뜻에 이해를 돕기 위해 주는 단서를 말해요. Skill objective. Figure out the answer by looking at the other worlds. 오늘 전략의 목표는 주어진 다른 단어들을 통해서 답을 찾아보는 것이죠. Boys and girls, when you read, it is important to know about context clues. 여러분이 스토리를 읽을 때 문맥의 실마리를 아는 것은 매우 중요해요. Context clues can help you figure out the meaning of a word by looking at the other words in the sentence. 문맥 실마리는 그 문장에 있는 다른 단어들을 통해서 어떤 단어의 의미를 이해하는 데 도움을 줄수 있는 것이지요. Let's look at the questions. What could I be? 나는 누구일까요? 라는 수수께끼를 풀어야 하는데요. Write the answer to each riddle. Use a word from the word list. 각각의 수수께끼 문제를 답하시오. 주어진 단어 목록에서 단어를 사용해서 답하라는 문제가 되겠습니다. 주어진 단어 목록 word list 먼저 볼까요? Skin, leg, brain, foot, shoulder, lung, heart, neck, muscle, hand. I move my body. 나는 몸을 움직이게 해요. Most of us are controlled by the brain. 우리들의 대부분은 뇌의 조종을 받아요. Some of us can move on our own. 어떤 경우 우리는 혼자 움직이기도 해요. 어떤 것일까요? 몸을 움직이도록 하고, 대부분의 경우는 뇌의 조종을 받고, 어떤 경우는 혼자도 움직이기도 하는 것. 그렇죠. 바로 muscles, 근육을 말합니다. 답은 Muscles입니다. I'm the largest organ in my body. 나는 신체의 가장 큰 기관이에요. I keep my insides in and the outside out. 나는 안에 있을 것은 안에, 그리고 밖에 있을 것은 밖에 있도록 지켜주지요. I am sensitive to pressure and heat. 나는 압력이나 열에 예민해요. 어떤 것이죠? 신체의 가장 큰 기관으로서 압력이나 열에 예민한 것은 바로 skin, 피부네요. I transfer oxygen to the blood. 나는 산소를 피로 보내요. My muscle only works to suck air in. 내 근육은 공기를 빨아들일 때만 이래요. I provide oxygen to other parts of my body. 나는 몸의 다른 부분에 산소를 공급해요. 산소를 피로 보내는 기관은 바로 lungs, 폐가 되겠네요. I'm the driver of my body. 나는 내 몸의 운전자예요. I tell my heart when to pump. 나는 심장에게 언제 피를 뿜어야 하는지 알려줘요. I keep my body on the road. 나는 몸을 계속 움직이게 해줘요. 무엇이죠? 심장에게 명령하고 몸을 계속 움직이게 하는 몸의 운전자는 바로 brain, 뇌예요. I pump blood throughout my body. 나는 몸을 통해 피를 뿜어내요. If I stop beating, then I will die. 내가 뛰는 것을 멈추면 나는 죽어요. I'm one of the most important organs in the human body. 
나는 신체에서 가장 중요한 기관 중 하나예요. 마지막으로 신체에서 가장 중요한 기관 중 하나로 몸을 통해서 피를 뿜어내고 멈추면 죽는 것은 무엇이죠? 여러분 다 아시죠? 그렇습니다. 바로 heart, 심장입니다. Great job, everyone!